The Spinosaurs are an incredibly unique group of theropod dinosaurs. The general consensus on what they actually were has changed drastically in the 100 or so years since the first ones were described. Originally interpreted as tyrannosaur-like beasts with sails on their backs, more complete remains found them to be unique theropods with long necks, pointy hook-nosed snouts with huge arms ending in huger claws. Since the discovery of Baryonyx, though, Spinosaurs have continuously popped up across Eurasia, with only a few old examples from Africa, plus a few tentative examples from South America. You have your Spinosaurus, Sigilmasasaurus, and Suchomimus of Africa, your Ichthyovenator and Siamosaurus of Asia, Oshalaya and Irritator of South America, and then the long list of Baryonyx, Camariasaurus, Ceratosuchops, Riparovenator, Venatrix, and Iberospinus of Europe. Obviously, plenty more Spinosaur examples are also known from all over the place, but pretty much only from indeterminate teeth, claws, or bits of bone. Over time, it has started to become clear that each region, where at least one Spinosaur is found, more were around as well. England has Baryonyx, Riparovenator, and Ceratosuchops, plus more like the Weldon Giant. Spain is also a hotbed for Spinosaur diversity, with Camariasaurus of Teruel and Valibona Venatrix of Castellón. A brand new study published in mid-May of 2023 describes another example of a Spanish Spinosaur. The new specimen was uncovered at the ANA Fossiliferous Site, a dig site found by geologist Raymond Orti back in 1998, only seeing excavation in 2002, which is located near the village of Cintores, which in turn is about 100 kilometers northwest of Castellón de la Plana, Castellón province, eastern Spain, and 12 kilometers from the city of Morella. This dig site represents an outcropping of the 96-meter Arqueas de Morea formation, which is Lower Cretaceous in age, part of a section of time known as the Upper Bermean, approximately 127 to 126 million years ago. All of this was deposited in the Maestrat Basin. This layer of rock is made up of red clay, yellowish-white sandstone, gray marl, limestone, and some local conglomerate rocks. The specimen that was found at this site consists simply of a maxilla bone, which is the main portion of the upper jaws, and five tail vertebrae. This may not seem like enough, and it isn't, but it was enough for the author team of Andres Santos Cubero, Carlos de Santisteban, Begonia Poza, and Sergei Mesegur to distinguish it from all other known spinosaurs. So they gave it the name Protathletus cinctorensis. The genus name Protathletus is Greek for champion and is in reference to UEFA Europa League title won by Villarreal CF in 2021 and as a tribute to the club's centenary celebrated in 2023. Yeah, it's a Spanish Spinosaur, so it's gotta be about football. The species name simply refers to the closest habitable place to the dig site. I like my Greek words and all, but Protathletus is definitely a mouthful of syllables and isn't as fun as other Spinosaur names. Sorry guys. With all the bone characteristics tallied up and placed in the phylogenetic software, the team found that Protathletus is most likely one of the earliest diverging members of the Baryonychine group of Spinosaurs. These were the more terrestrial varieties, like the namesake Baryonyx. Specifically, it also placed most closely to Baryonyx. Aside from that, not much can be gleaned on what the animal may have looked like when it was alive. It is assumed to have been not entirely different from other known Baryonychines, especially those from Spain, which also happen to be rather fragmentary and take a lot of inspiration from European forms. I mean, the size of its bones make it seem likely to have been similar in size to Baryonyx, but not much aside from that. This Spinosaur does a lot more to help broaden the understanding of the evolution and paleobiogeography of the Spinosaurus over time. The author team found that a likely scenario is that Spinosaurids appeared during the early Cretaceous in Europe and diversified, appearing as members of the two subfamilies and occupying a large part of Western Europe. 
Later on, during the Bermean to Aptian, they migrated to Africa and Asia, where they diversified again. In Europe, Baryonychines were dominant, while in Africa, Spinosaurines were the most abundant. Protathletus is also another example of coastal Spinosaurs, as opposed to previous hypotheses that these animals were more common in inland freshwater systems. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Elephant Tier patrons Abby Smith, Arda Bayer, Biotiverse, Cherry Shaw, Chris Frampton, Christoph Hubbinger, Dinosaur, Ed Peretz, Isaiah Garza, Jax the Hacks, Natty Cat, PA Brew News, Ray, Rudy Redgrave, Smiling Walrus, Staniforth Hopkins, Steve Bradshaw, Thea Svensson, and Extraterrestrial. As well as my top as tier Tyrannosaurus patrons, Admin, Antron, Aphid Kirby, Cyber, Dana Manchester, Danny Van Heck, Henry Brennan, Iberospinus, Iron Bladesman, Joshua Mana, Panic, Radio 404, Robert Kessler, Ruben Zachariah, Swaffles is Weird, Teeny Dragator, and The Dogman.